Now that is an interesting way of starting a brand new era of Doctor Who. This is of course the Doctor Who Christmas 2023 special episode, The Church on Ruby Road. It is Shuti Gatwa's first full adventure as the 15th Doctor, also alongside his brand new companion of Ruby Sunday, played by the fantastic Millie Gibson. It's an interesting episode and a bold way of starting this new era of Doctor Who as I just said. But how does it hold up? Is this a good Christmas special? But also, is this a way to start the new era? Lots and lots of questions. We've got a new sonic screwdriver, a mysterious individual at the end who I've got to talk about in a minute, a new trailer for series, what I guess is 14, but also series 1. They've reset the season count. I know it's confusing for long-time viewers like us, but we're also used to it with classic and modern, the first RTD era resetting the season count. Weird, I know. We're going to dive into a full review of The Church on Ruby Road, the Doctor 2023 Christmas special, as it won't be too long before we're in the new year at May for Series 14. I'm going to call it that for the meantime, but Shooty Gatwa's first season. May 2024, be there. It's going to be amazing. We'll do a full trailer breakdown of what's coming up later in the week, so stay tuned for that, as I've seen new HQ, Mel, a lot more coming up. This will be awesome. If you've not watched The Church on Ruby Road, this is your spoiler warning. Turn away now. You do not want to be spoiled with this. It's interesting, and you should give it a watch first time around. No spoilers. Okay, here we go. Hey everyone, my name is Jack, and welcome to TARDIS Central. Now, happy Christmas, or should I say, happy holidays, and Merry Christmas. This review will be a little bit shorter and a little rough around the edges in terms of editing. Uh, my team are currently enjoying a Christmas holiday. My editor is currently in the flat with me, uh, so I'll be editing this myself, and I want to get back to the Christmas celebrations, as I'm sure many of you do. Happy Christmas, and you're welcome to say it back in the comments as well. If you're new around here and want to keep up to date with the latest Doctor Who news, lore, and more, hit that subscribe button, and let's not waste any time, let's talk about the special. First off, can we talk about Mrs. Flood? This is the character played by Anita Dobson. She's that sort of uh, angry resident sat on her doorstep in the deck chair, observing the Doctor coming and going, first complaining about Petardis. At the end of the episode, and again, spoiler warning, she says to her other neighbour who she's complaining at previously about the TARDIS going, What's up dear? Have you never seen a TARDIS before? But she speaks directly to the camera, which is interesting, as this seemingly sets up a character who is aware of the Doctor and aware of how things go. Perhaps we're looking at another time paradox here. We always sort of saw a time flux or crack event of like, you know, moving events around, i.e. Ruby not existing in this episode. So there's a lot to unpack and a lot of detail here. I hope she turns out to be an interesting character. RTD certainly has a lot, I should say Rusty Davies, RTD, has a lot planned for this season, and I think a lot of stuff's gonna go down here. Spoiler warning, it's already confirmed we will see the church, aka the church on Ruby Road, later in series 14. Pretty interesting. And I think we may see it in series 15 as well. It looks like it may be a pivotal event or a pivotal location for the future of Doctor Who, particularly with Ruby Sunday and the 15th Doctor. Speaking about the pair, we get our first introduction to Shuti Gatwa's Doctor properly in this episode. Yes, we met him in the giggle, but, you know, David Tennant was still there as the 14th Doctor. Here, he is here as the Doctor. There's no 15, 14, etc. It's just the Doctor. Yes, he is the 15th Doctor, but you get what I mean. Immediately, we get this sort of Christmas storytelling of the church on Ruby Road, and obviously how Ruby is left as a baby at the church, and her mother, who is still unknown, walks away from the scene. Perhaps it is Mrs. Flood, that could be interesting. There's going to be theories going wild for this. Who do you think Mrs. Flood is? I should also ask you now, by the way, as we get our introduction from the Doctor, we also meet more of him and Ruby Sunday through the telling of these sort of scenes of Ruby's unluckiness after her interview with Demina, uh, Davina McCall. And we'll see the Doctor interacting with her as well, and also getting caught up in the unluckiness. We see him at a party, we then see him at this other party in the club as well, both locations filmed in Cardiff, which is pretty interesting for Cardiff residents. Let us know if you want a filming walkthrough, we can arrange for a new year. It'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Um, but also we see the new Sonic Screwdriver. Yes, I've seen all your comparisons online. It does look like a Sky Remote. I know, it's pretty interesting. Um, it's growing on me. I would love to see it more up close in detail, and I think when we get a merchandise prop this sometime soon, that will be pretty interesting. Until then, we don't really know much about it. It's got Gallifrey and writing on it. Um, I think something to do with a random proverb as well, linking of Shuti Gatwa as an actor. If you know more about him, you know why that's written there. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, I want to see more of an action. The use of Vigil on the goblin ship was pretty cool, also reinforcing that it doesn't work, it, can, it can only work on screws, so it can't work on wood. I like the fact we're keeping that joke going. Speaking of in-jokes in Doctor Who, Mavity was brought back again. It was mentioned in this episode by the Doctor when he's talking about his new gloves. An interesting technical thing. Whether we'll see that pop up again, hopefully, it's kind of really interesting. 
the goblin element of this episode was pretty, pretty cool. While they were an interesting villain, I kind of felt they were defeated a bit too quickly. But they were able to defeat in a sort of like gruesome way with the Goblin King being spiked with the church steeple. A little poetic in a way, but also pretty interesting. It would have been nice if they had some more motivations behind the goblins, but I get they were just sort of like a throwaway species perhaps, just to sort of like, you know, do a bit of damage in the Doctor Who. They were Monster of the Week. We've seen this before. Monsters are only used in one episode, etc. It's not quite up there like the Cybermen and the Daleks, but it's something like this where, you know, they're here and uh, then they're gone essentially. It's a bit of a shame, I would like to see more of them. Still though, we got the Goblin Song. That was a pretty cool moment. But speaking about that Goblin Song, while it was really cool to get Janice Goblin uh, singing, or Janice Goblin, singing away there with the band as well, about eating the baby to feed the Goblin King, I wasn't too sure about Shooty Gawa and Millie Gibson singing. Now they are fantastic actors and an actress, and the singing was great. I'm not sure if it felt or sort of fitted with the episode. By the end of it, I did like it and, you know, sort of singing to get out of a trap. It's rather cliche, but it worked really, really well. What I did like was the touching family moment between Carla, aka Ruby's adoptive mother, Ruby, Cherry, and also Shooty as well, or should I say the Doctor. Uh, that was a really touching moment and sort of something Doctor Who is known for. It also connects for long time viewers with Doctor talking about being adopted. This, of course, spurs from the time as child arc written in the Chris Chibnall era of the show. Really cool, and I think it's nice that we're sort of bringing in the air of law. Look, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, that's completely fine. You know, some people don't like RTD's era of Doctor Who, some people don't like Chris Chibnall's era. That's completely fine, you're entitled to your opinions, and we welcome them in the comment section. How I think when you tie in things like that from a previous showrunner, it's respectful and also really, really good. So tying him at Ch Timeless Child Arc twice now, once in David Tennant's 60th specials, once here as well so far, is pretty, pretty cool. Overall, this is a very interesting Christmas special. Where it goes next to Doctor Who, I do not know. We've had a preview of the upcoming season, but seeing Millie Gibson as Ruby Sunday step into the TARDIS and begin her new adventure with a Doctor, that is pretty cool. I like to think that episode one will pick up straight as he clicks his fingers. That could be really interesting. I can't click like that, oh well. Um, that'd be really, really cool, and we'll see where it goes from there. Also, another touching moment, the Doctor did save Davina McCall. She's not dead, thankfully, everybody. She wasn't killed by a Christmas tree, thankfully. Um, so maybe she'll come back again sometime in the future. A lot of plot lines were dropped in this episode. We have Mrs. Flood being ever so mysterious. We also have Ruby Sunday's mother still remaining a mystery. When the Doctor went back in time to fix the paradox, he easily could have run up to her mother and said, oh, do you have the time, and got her identity. Maybe it's something being hidden away. We don't really know what's going on, and, and that's a good thing. RTD's era of Doctor Who, or the previous one, had a long history of laying season sort of plot lines out in the open. Even with David Tennant's first episode, we got the mention of Torchwood. This was built up in series two with, you know, Tooth and Claw and things like that, until we eventually got to Doomsday, um, or, you know, the Army of Ghosts and Doomsday, and Torchwood was unveiled. That is pretty, pretty cool. Whether we'll see something like this go on here is unknown. It's still going to be pretty cool. We'll wait and see. Okay, that's it for our Doctor Who review of the Christmas 2023 special, The Church on Ruby Road. What did you think of it? If you reached this far into this review, happy Christmas and, you know, happy holidays. Thank you so much for joining me on Christmas Day. Uh, comment down below. Um, oh, what should we comment? Cherry Sunday or just cherry. Comment that. Well, that's, the, that's the word we'll use this week. Um, if you like this episode, do let us know what you thought down below in the comment section. If you're looking for more Doc 2 content and appreciate what we tried to upload on Christmas Day, if we got there, we got there. Hit that subscribe button and we will see you very soon. Goodbye.